are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. Good morning. We have decided that we're going to go away for a two night break. So we're just packing our bags. We're trying to remember everything we need. We're taking Holly and Indy with us. Sky is staying here because she's got to work. So she's going to be looking after itty bitty kitty. And Carlo is just having a clean up. I've been hanging out washing. I'm not just sitting around doing nothing. And um, we're just um, making sure that everything's okay. The bins are emptied and everything before we leave. We recently bought this book which has inspired us to go off on a little adventure. La lampada di Aladino, vieni fuori. Allora, io ho lasciato il lavoro a novembre pensando che facevamo tanti viaggi. Sì, abbiamo fatto qualcuno, ma non abbastanza. Abbiamo un paio di giorni di tempo e quindi niente, andiamo a fare una piccola vacanza in luoghi wild. Basically, he was complaining yesterday that he hadn't been on enough little trips since he left work in November and that we weren't making the most of the time that we've got to go out and do fun things. So I said there and then, fine, let's go somewhere. Let's book somewhere. We've got a couple of days. Let's do it. Nowhere too far. So we're going to this place that we actually have visited before and we have taken you before, but we never stayed there. When we went to visit Rosigno Vecchio, the ghost town a bit further south from here, we stopped off at this place for lunch just by chance. We just found it on the map. It was nearby, so we stopped there. And it was absolutely amazing. It was an agriturismo. It had a pool. It had loads of land. had a huge, huge place to eat. I mean, they must be very, very popular at weekends. And we noticed they had a few rooms. So we found up yesterday and we booked a room. So we're gonna go and stay there and we should get there just in time for lunch. Two hours later, <laughs> I've never been so sweaty and hot in my life. So one of our neighbors called just as we were leaving, we were literally standing outside the gate with our suitcases and we got a call from one of our neighbors who's got very bad food poisoning, has been extremely ill all night and asked if we could go to the pharmacy for them. So I had to run all the way down to the pharmacy, pick up some medicines. Carlo went up with one of the bags and got the scooter, came down to pick me up, brought me back up to Montepetuso. I had to run down to the house give the medicines, get all my bags, and then come up the 500 steps again. So I've just done about 2,000 odd steps, maybe a bit more, <sighs> just before leaving. I envy those YouTubers like Lydia Millen and Josie who are just perfectly turned out and clean and crisp and tidy and smart every single time. And here's me dripping with sweat and panting and damp and humid. But I've just said that it's better. I know, I know. <laughs> it's not quite the way I wanted to leave to start our mini vacation, but that's fine. We're on our way now. So, yep, we've just left at Positano. I finally brought Indy's bed up from home, which she doesn't really use at the moment, but I've put it in the car and look, perfect solution. They're not all piled on top of each other anymore. We wanted was a room with air conditioning and that's not what we've got. <laughs> 
no air conditioning here, it's just a basic room. But the place, the area is great, there's loads of things to do here. So we'll have some lunch and then have a look around. Mi sembra un po' come se avessi fatto un tuffo negli anni Ottanta. Gente con le famiglie, i bambini che urlano. We remembered that there was something good about this place and now we've just remembered it was the starters. So us, we haven't even seen a menu but our starters have just arrived. Got one each. Abbiamo ripreso questo ma non ci abbiamo iniziato a mangiare, vero? Ah, I forgot to show you, but this is what we've been given next. So two types of pasta, one is like um, ragu, and the other one is maybe bits of sausage and squash. We had lunch, uh, which was amazing. Um, very, very big lunch. We didn't finish the pasta at all. I don't think we even ate a quarter of it, which is a real shame, but just couldn't. It's just too much food. Anyhow, this is the pool area. There's two pools here. It seems to be a kiddie pool and a main pool. And the water's lovely and fresh. So we both had a swim and there's a nice big grassy area here. So it's perfect because it's shady. There's a breeze. So the dogs are perfectly comfortable here. We've been sitting in this little pergola here which is even cooler. So this is great. And we're, Carla's gone to get the car now and we're gonna head off to the Golo di Samaro. Really jumpy It's like the road has melted. It's just like <laughs> <laughs> deformed. It's like all slipping away. It's, uh, let me show you. Obviously you can't really see the state of the road, but you can probably hear the bumps. It's a melty, melty road. And we're on the side of a valley towards Rocinha. Forse questa strada è anche chiusa perché c'era un cartello che diceva che la strada più avanti era chiusa. But it's about half an hour faster than the other way to get here, so we're gonna risk it anyway. Hopefully it's not closed. We've parked in this little lay-by here. But I'm just walking back to this bridge because I don't know where the trail starts from, so let me see if I can find it. It's a long way down. It's um, 1.6 kilometers, so it's nearly a mile down. That's a long walk. <laughs> so this is the bridge. Now, where is the pathway? Let's see, something's over here. This can't be right. no way to get down there from here. This is definitely not right, but look, that's obviously more or less where we're going. Okay, we just stopped another car and asked, and there's a pathway a bit further on. Thank God, because I was not going to enjoy climbing off that bridge. Sì, ci potevamo buttare giù e arrivavamo subito. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Go down here? Oh, wow. Yes, let's go down a bit. We have found it. So we've got to walk down this path for about 20 minutes, I think. You definitely need shoes for this. I've got my trainers on. Oh yeah, it's just nearly six o'clock in the evening and it is 34 degrees Celsius. Possibility of being very slippery here. Definitely wear shoes. Okay, this road should be a long kilometer and a half. Okay, vediamo se riesco a farvi sentire il rumore dell'acqua e dei grilli, of course. Non lo so, dal vivo si sente, si sente il rumore dell'acqua, giusto un po', ma si sente. E soprattutto si sentono i grilli. Ho appena parlato con questa signora, quindi era, era un po' maleducata di andare vicino a Baiano, per esempio, bu 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 bu. Only because she had a big stick. Sì. And it seems that we've come at the right time because everybody's leaving. The pathway has, even that bit is actually much easier. We could probably get down here on a dirt bike if we wanted to. Ciao ragazzi, com'è giù? Buonasera. 
ciao bello bellissimo no? he is so slow drives me crazy i want to get there what is he doing back there ok adesso lo sentite il rumore dell'acqua vero adesso ci aspetta un bagno davvero gelato e forse questa volta riuscirò anche a nuotare perché sembra che qui c'è molta più acqua che della valle delle ferriere ad Amalfi uh, can't wait to get in it's gonna be freezing salve Qua. E eh, anche salve. We have campers. Okay. Let's go join them. And in there, that is the gola, which means the throat. So that's where we want to get into. I think it's gonna be too cold. I don't know if I'm gonna manage. And the only way to get down <laughs> Spider Man, Spider Man. Go Indy! gonna leave Carlo making friends down there and just go over here because I think there's a little end bit here that we can walk into. Indy's coming with me, she's scrambled back up again. Oh, exciting! <laughs> I'm doing this barefoot by the way, in my swimsuit. As you do. Wow. È caldo, amore. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> It's freaking freezing. <laughs> non ce la fai? I think I have to get used to it slowly. It makes your legs ache and sting. Dai, togli le scarpe, provi anche tu. Come okay. on. Come on. In you go. There you go. Ow. Ouch. <laughs> It's colder than a mouth, yeah? I don't know, but it's really cold.
cavolo fanno certa gente a buttarsi nel ghiaccio? That's the thing, when you get out, you burn. Everything feels like it's burning. It's an incredible sensation. Sì. But I quite like it. I can't believe I've done this. I am so bad with cold water, but it's just so hot. It's such a pleasure. I'm enjoying this. Mi piace. Sì, molto. Sì, è bellissimo. A parte il fatto che sembra che brucio, però... Well, that's fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. Let's do it again. is a little bit terrifying all on my own. Look at that! Ah! Wow. That is where the water is coming from. Qui siamo alla sorgente. Qualcuno potrebbe pensare che l'acqua arriva da, da quella parte, dalle spalle dietro di me. E invece no. È chiaro che qui scende l'acqua quando piove ma non c'è acqua l'acqua viene da là arriva dal sottosuolo da quella specie di grotta davvero interessante non avrei mai pensato ok it's getting late half past seven the sun has gone and it'll be dark in about half an hour and it's probably about half an hour's walk back up so we're gonna head back up go get some dinner is a bit old. <laughs> Eravamo su quel ponte lassù. Che bello! Che fai laggiù? Come on Indy, andiamo! Vieni! Come on! Scary doggy! Stupid doggy! You're so scared! Yeah, you're fine! Oh dio, un po' spaventoso è! Sono abbastanza stanco adesso! Ok, let's go! This shoes is very crap. Oh. Yeah. Ok, adesso siamo sopra il ponte, vi faccio vedere una cosa. È alto, eh? Andiamo a vedere dall'altra parte. Oh wow! È incredibile! TV on <laughs> somewhere in a room in Italy. Um, we've come down for breakfast. There's nobody here at the moment, so I'm going to give you a quick look around. You can see how big this restaurant is. So, this is just like the outer room, and then you go through here, and there's another huge, huge room down here. <laughs> TV's always on. Breakfast. 
has arrived. Prego, amore. Ti piace questa cosa che porto nel cibo senza ordinarlo? I've never eaten so much in my life. So we've now had breakfast, lunch and dinner here and there's no such thing as a menu. You just eat what you're given. <laughs> But it's all really good. So I quite enjoy that. It's, it's the surprise. When you don't have any problems with food and you can eat anything, it's quite nice to just be surprised and just be given something completely out of the blue. I'm enjoying it. Abbiamo mangiato tutto. Adesso tocca ai doggies. In the, in the glamorous life of Mickey sitting on the floor. Oh dear. Oh, we have guests. Oh dear, have we? Yes. Sì. Hello. There's a coda that looks like a helicopter. This little dog has been abandoned here. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey. What's hey. that? Come here. Come back here. Mm. Come sono diversi però, eh? No! Ehi! Last night we were talking to Giovanni in the restaurant and he suggested a couple of places for us to visit this morning. So we're following his instructions and we're heading, heading over to Sant'Angelo where there is a cave with a church in it and a beautiful waterfall. What more could you ask for? So this is turning out to be a very, very cheap holiday because we're not spending any money doing anything really, apart from eating. Sembri la regina quando parli così. Sottento tutto. We've parked just here, we're not sure if there's a car park a bit further up, but we're just going to walk up this road. It's only a short walk and I think that's it up there. Let's go see what it's like. Once upon a time, many years ago, the Prince Manfredo of Fasanella was training his falcon just outside the medieval hamlet of Sant'Angelo. The falcon was not the most trustworthy bird and was tiring of his master's instructions, so when he spied a hole in the nearby mountainside, he flew down for a closer look. Prince Manfredo watched helplessly as his falcon disappeared into the cave. He waited a while, he called, and he probably stamped his feet a bit too, but all in vain, the falcon had vanished. So the prince decided to climb up to the cave and see what the damn bird was up to. The cave had signs of prehistoric use, but what impressed the prince the most was what he claimed to be the imprint of the Archangel Michael's wings on a wall behind an altar. That was not at all what I expected. When the guy in the restaurant said to us that there was a cave with a church in it, I just presumed it was going to be this tiny little 
cave like hollow in the rock with a little altar in it and that was it i did not expect that huge huge thing it's getting hot so let's go and find these waterfalls and see if we can have a swim We decided to park the car just to be sure because the road now becomes an unpaved road in a bit. So we're just going to walk the last 700 meters. Certamente qua non potevamo scendere con l'auto. No. Con un fuoristrada sì, non con un auto normale. Still walking and we can't hear any water yet. Allora, non vi fidate mai dei navigatori. Abbiamo sbagliato strada. <laughs> Vabbè, abbiamo camminato solo 6-700 metri e abbiamo scoperto che la strada era sbagliata. Adesso torniamo indietro e speriamo di arrivare finalmente alla cascata Auso. C'è una area picnic qua e per andare a vedere le cascate dobbiamo andare da quel lato seguendo il sentiero. Tu pensi che questo è il ponte romano? No. Ma perché le strade sono sempre in salita? Ah, ecco il ponte romano. How bizarre, we found a mini Indy. <laughs> Look Indy, it's like a baby you. How funny. <laughs> Ma davvero una piccola, guarda c'ha le zampe uguali. Sì, 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 sono d'accordo, c'è la piccola. He's a little baby Indy. <laughs> guarda. Dilla di nuovo. It's amazing down there. Cosa di metallo però è davvero brutto. quel film Laguna Blu E adesso è arrivato il mio momento di buttarmi in quest'acqua. Un po' alla volta lo farò. È davvero ghiacciata. Sento più le gambe appena vado in acqua. 
my hair is annoying me and I've left mine in the car that was amazing that was one of my favorite places ever so far è piaciuto? molto meno male che sono arrivati quei tre ragazzi così ho preso coraggio eh. ma coraggio in che senso? queste cose sono pericolose se succede qualcosa mentre sei in acqua cioè tu da sola non, non mi puoi mai sollevare con tre, tre uomini, ok. Insomma, in qualche modo mi tiravano almeno fuori dall'acqua, no? <laughs> Gigi! She's getting a little bit more confident in the water, aren't you? Definitely a lover of streams. Well, Holly is perfectly happy to sit by my side, aren't you, little one? You don't want to get wet, do you? back to the room and we had a nap for a couple of hours and then we went and sat by the pool for an hour or so and now we're off to visit a nearby village called Bello, Bello Sguardo yeah. and it's supposed to have a beautiful view obviously so what we're hoping for is a little Italian piazza with a bar where we can sit and get a drink and watch the sun slowly set over the olive groves and hills macchina dietro molto più grande della nostra We were driving up here, I joked that it'll probably be one of those towns where you'll find the piazza with the bar and there'll be a whole load of tables sitting outside of people and it'll be all old men and Carla went, no, there's not places like that anymore, those places don't exist anymore It's all old men, there's not one single woman there Mi ha detto Giovanni che da questo punto si può vedere, quando il tempo è davvero buono, trasparente, si può vedere l'isola di Capri. Io un po' ho riso perché mi sembrava eccessivo, perché sono 150 km là in linea d'aria, I think. Però lui, lui ha detto no, no, è vero, e mi ha fatto vedere una foto, effettivamente era l'isola di Capri. Lui dice che scappato da qua, da questo. Let's try. Eh, non adesso, guarda il sole dov'è. I still think I can see it. Eh, se aspettiamo un po' che va giù è meglio. This is a, a, a classic little town in Italy. Abbiamo snack e drink, adesso troviamo un posto, ci sediamo. So I had the idea of going to have our little aperitivo in the ghost town of Rosinia Vecchio because we're so close, we haven't been to visit it since February 2020, so that's where we're going to go.
this is Roshinio Vecchio. It is a ghost town. It's completely abandoned. We have been here a few times before. I'm going to link the video that we made last time here because it's got more information and you can meet the one inhabitant of the town who can't see him at the moment. He might have gone for the night. But um, yeah, it's, it's very, very beautiful here and, and suggestive and mysterious. Adesso però beviamo il nostro drink. Yeah. Yeah. Siamo venuti qui apposta per bere un drink. These are unalcoholic cocktails and some crisps. 